to a fever. You feel a little warm, I think. I'm so sorry, honey. Oh no. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I understand. I hate being sick. I'm really sorry that you don't feel well. I'm gonna get hair out of your face. So what else is up? Is everything else okay? Emotionally, it don't feel so great either. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been there. <laughs> well, I thought that I'd come over and hang out with you. Is that okay? Okay. I thought I could sit with you while you try to go to sleep and then make you really good. Your hair looks really good. It's, it's so pretty. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. You too, you're just the kind of person that even if you don't like shower or <laughs> do anything to make yourself, you know, look like anything, you just always better, but sometimes it almost just makes me feel worse. Um, makes me feel like I'm dwelling on it. It depends on, like, you know, the problem that you're having, but it's okay to not want to talk. It's totally okay. <laughs> okay. I can help you, um, I can do some things for you that my mom used to do for me when I couldn't sleep when I was little. Things that she would always do that would help me the most are um, she would tell me a story, um, a nice story, <laughs> and um, what else would she do? Oh, she would 
sing me a lullaby. <laughs> so if you want, I can, um, I'll sing you a lullaby. <laughs> if you promise you won't laugh at me. <laughs> um, I'll tell you a nice story. I'll tell you a true story. Um, and this, this was something that happened to my little sister when she was, um, a baby. She was born with some kind of muscle condition and she couldn't walk until she was like, I don't know, three maybe? It was, you know, we didn't think she was ever gonna walk. So it was, you know, it was scary. Um, and she would always, one day she started saying, she used to point to the sky making the story up and um I don't like you know I'm not exactly a religious person um I I would consider myself a spiritual person but uh I don't know regardless of whatever your like spiritual beliefs are I think that it's just a like a really weird crazy story and it's just kind of cute um but yeah she she used to point up to like nothing say Nana. And Nana was my mom's, um, grandmother who had passed away way, way, way before, um, before my mom was even born, I think. My mom might have known her, but she had been gone a long time before I was born and before my little sister was and my sister was just a baby. She, you know, couldn't really speak in sentences. She just knew some word. So, and we didn't call any of our grandparents Nana. We just called our grandma's grandma. Um, and so, she never really heard that word before. My mom didn't, hadn't like talked to her yet about Nana. Um, so it was just weird that she said that. And then she'd say, bubble. And we were like, what? And she would say it all the time. All the time. And, um, then one day, um, I was raised, uh, in a Christian family. And we would go to church. And, um, she, there was some depiction of a saint, or maybe it was Jesus, I don't know. Somebody who was, like, supposed to be an angel, I guess. On the wall, or maybe it was like in a book. I don't remember. It might have been in a book, like the little I don't know books they give you. And uh, they had a halo around their head. And my little sister pointed to the halo, and she said, "Bubble." And we were like, "What?" <laughs> so that was weird. And um, she would always say it. And then. Um, Miraculously, she learned how to walk. And, um, we really, like, some doctors told my parents that she would be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Which was devastating. But, I, you know, I was little, so I don't really remember, like, the medical details. But, we just kept hoping that, you know, she'd walk. And one day she did. So, we threw her a party, like a walking party, <laughs> and, um, we were outside, our whole family was outside on the day of her party, and, um, she pointed up to the sky and she said, Nana, bubble again, but then she said, bye-bye, and she started waving, <laughs> and then after that, she never said, Nana, bubble again. We thought maybe, you know, maybe Nana was trying to protect her and help her learn to walk. And then when she did, she felt like her job was done. <laughs> oh. So then, um, now my sister is a ballerina. She's a dancer. She's an amazing, amazing dancer. Like, 
I cry when I see her dance sometimes because um, because she's so good and beautiful and also just because we thought she, you know, maybe wasn't gonna walk. It's crazy. So, I like that story. <laughs> it's a happy story. But, um... It makes you appreciate, um, appreciate things that you, you know, stuff that you take for granted that you should be grateful for, you know? It makes me think when I think about where, you know, where she could have been. Um, I'm just, I'm really proud of her. Um, alright, uh, I'll sing you a little song now if you want. A little lullaby. And this song is, um, it's not a lullaby that my mom used to sing to me, <laughs> but it, um, is a song that makes me really happy. Um, I think it's a really beautiful song, and I think the lyrics will help you in the situation that you're in right now. You know, when you're feeling, you know, kind of bummed and just a little bit down about Thing, and maybe kind of in a pessimistic um, mindset. Uh, a lot of the lyrics in this song are really nice. They make me really happy. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's by Bright Eyes, who are one of my favorite bands ever. Would you know? I know. <laughs> yeah, you like. is called Bowl of Oranges. I think you know it. I'm sure I've played it for you before, but um, I'll sing it to you quietly like a little lullaby, and you should listen to the lyrics. I think it'll make you feel better. Okay. <laughs> the rain had started tapping on the window near my bed. There was a loophole in my dreaming, so I Got out of bed, and to my surprise, my eyes were wide and already open. Just my nightstand and my dresser, where those nightmares had just been. So I dressed myself and left then, out into the gray streets. But everything seemed different, completely new to me. The skies, the trees, houses, buildings, even my own body. And each person I encountered, I couldn't wait to meet. I came upon a doctor who appeared in quite poor health. I said, there's nothing that I can do for you. You can't do for yourself He said, oh yes you can Just hold my hand I think that that would help So I sat with him a while And I asked him how he felt He said, I think I'm cured No, in fact, I'm sure Thank you, stranger for your therapeutic smile must do some raining if you're ever gonna grow but when crying don't help and you can't compose yourself it's best to compose a poem an honest verse of longing or a simple song of hope that's why I'm singing baby don't worry cause now I got your back and every time you feel like crying I'm gonna try and make you laugh And if I can't, if it just hurts too bad Then we'll wait for it to pass And I will keep you company Through those days so long and black And we'll 
keep working on the problem we know we'll never solve of love's uneven remainders our lives are fractions of a whole but if the world could remain within a frame like the painting on a wall then i think we'd see the beauty and we'd stand staring in awe at our still lives posed like a bowl of oranges like a story told by the fault lines and the soil remain within a frame like a painting on a wall, then I think we'd see the beauty and we'd stand staring in awe. I love that. I promise everything's gonna be okay. I promise. I know it doesn't feel like it right now. I know. I know you're hurting. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I'm really sorry, honey. I know. I promise you're gonna be okay. You know what I do when I'm really upset? Is I try to think of all the times that I have been really upset about something. Really worried about really take myself back and feel how nervous I was about it, or how sad I was about it, and how I felt like I would never feel the same again, like I would never be happy again, like the world was ending, and I know that feeling feels so real, even if whatever you're so relative. I understand that it feels very real to you, and that's okay. Okay? I want you to remember that. Yeah, I know. All that matters is what you feel. You're allowed to feel whatever you And then, think of all the times that you were happy after that. And how whatever you were worried about probably didn't happen. Or it ended up being fine. Right? Even when you're thinking, like, this is not going to be okay. I'm not going to be okay. I'm not going to, you know, make it out of this. I'm not going to be happy again. You will always be okay. I promise you. I know how hard it feels, and I know that however, you know, much you tell yourself that, it doesn't matter sometimes. And, you know, that's why sometimes you just have to fully embrace whatever you're feeling, and just accept it, and say, this is how I feel. This is what my body and my, you know, mind is calling me to feel right now, so... Weather it, which I promise you, you can. You are so strong. You really are. I know you feel weak right now, but it's okay. A lot of the times, what appears to be weakness is actually strength. Because you have the strength to, you know, acknowledge your emotion. Let yourself get upset about it. Let 
let yourself really feel it. That's really brave. It is. It's really brave. really hard on yourself. Everybody has crappy stuff happen to them, including me and including you. I know you've had really bad stuff happen to you. That's why you need to be gentle with yourself. You need to be kind to yourself. You're not kind enough to yourself. Because you've been through so much, and you do so much, and you have an impact. to not always be okay. It's totally fine. And I know sometimes, you know, you feel like you're going backwards a little bit. You're not. It's all, it's all growing. You know, if you're trying to grow out of an old habit, you know, a negative way of thinking, um, you can't get frustrated when you feel like you're kind of reverting back to that because it's all part of the process. You're not just gonna, boom, overnight, be a totally different person. But that's why it's important to reflect a little bit on how far you've come. Yeah. It's all a process. And you know, like, it's corny, but the same. about the journey. It's not just a destination. It's a way of living. But it's really true. You need to learn how to be happy with your life right now in the present moment. Because sometimes there are situations that we can't change or that we can't change right now. You know, say you're in a job that you don't love, but you are stuck in I know that it seems frustrating, and I know that when people say, you know, oh, you just have to change your thinking, I know it's a lot easier said than done. It really is, believe me. Sometimes it makes me really frustrated. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. But it 
it's okay to feel frustrated, it's okay to feel angry and sad, you know, you need to feel those emotions, and you need to be in a bad place sometimes so you can really, truly appreciate what being in a good place is like, you know, because if you didn't Your family loves you so much. Your friends love you so much. Your co-workers love you so much. Your pets. You do so much for so many people. Cut yourself some slack, you know. Give yourself some credit. And you know, what makes me feel better sometimes is just thinking that in the grand scheme of things, all these problems that we have that feel so big are really, really, really small. And I hope that doesn't make you mad. I'm not saying that what you're feeling is insignificant. Because you are the most significant thing. You are the opposite of insignificant. But all these little things, they don't you look back on your life when it's, you know, at its end, you're gonna just think about all the wonderful, amazing things you did. You're not gonna think about the stupid little stuff that, you know, maybe upset you at the time, but it doesn't matter. And that's okay. Just know that no matter what it is, it's always going to work itself out. Even if it doesn't feel like it will, it will. I promise you it will. Everything always has a way of working itself out. Even if you can't possibly, you know, imagine a way how a situation could be resolved. There's always some way that the universe works out. No matter what.